Well, Sue, so here we are at Moolamba Showground for the weekly farmers markets. Yes. Very yes. excited to be here. Every week, every Wednesday from 7 till 11. And how many people do you have coming here tonight? Look, we have around a thousand. I think we've seen a big growth in the last few years. When I first started here, it was about 400 on our records, and now at least a thousand, probably more. We haven't actually recorded it recently, but that's because the numbers are so great we don't need to anymore. We just know the message is getting out there. Yeah. Produce is fresh. It's beautiful, fresh. I can vouch for that. We come down here regularly, our family. And we're here to talk about the food forum that Toy Chai Council is facilitating, happening on the 11th and 12th of August, um, down at Mantra Salt. And we're very excited because you're going to be part of that. And what are you going to be talking about? Soon? Thank you. Look, I am excited to be part of it. And it's really exciting for me at any time to be able to talk about our farmers and how yeah, we need to support our farmers. The, farm, the farmers market helps them to be productive and viable. Yeah. Without the farmers market, many of them would not still be farming, and they've said that to me. Um, but the big draw for people to the market is really the authenticity of the freshness of the food. It's picked the day before, the day before that, song, ready for the market. It comes in, you couldn't have fresher food. Yeah. And once people taste the freshness of the food, the flavour of the food, to... and the way it lasts, there's no going back. There is no going back. <laughs> no. And there's so much opportunity here Love, in the Tweed, and we've seen so many other regions do it very, very well. That's and I think the opportunity for food tourism. Uh, is enormous Love here in the Tweed. Absolutely, we don't want to miss the moment. No, we don't. And where else do you Without go, you buy your food, and have all this great music? Exactly, well. and look, people are coming because they love not only the food now, but it becomes a meeting place. Absolutely. It's a gathering point for families, for all sorts of people coming from all around the Tweed. It yeah, brings people into Moolamba. And just talking to some of the shop owners, they say on the day that the market's on, if we're busy, we're busy. Yep. 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 The flow-on effects are enormous, and that's it for the whole food sector. You know, it's going to be an enormous impact, Love positive impact on our local area. Say. Absolutely, and it's a very exciting time Love right now. Yeah. And see, so we've got some other um, of your farm straw holders who are going to be talking at the conference say. as well at the forum. So Pete Smith from the All Natural Meat Company. Fantastic. Out and and he around. does some great stuff. Um, he has food. You're doing some food tours, tours as well. Yes, food yes. trails, and I know he's part of that He's as well. doing some wonderful things, and his um, most recent food tour open day, yeah. they had more than 400 people Wow. I mean, that just shows people want to know where the food's coming from and they want to know more about their food and they want to know the animals are happy yep. and that the food's well grown. Absolutely. Well, Sue, thanks so much for coming on board on our food forum. We look forward to seeing you and as many of the storeholders here and visitors to the market to come along to the food forum, 11th and 12th of August. Fantastic. We'll do our bit promoting it. Right. It's an exciting moment. Thanks, thanks Liz. Sue.